from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, July the 13th, 2018. For the second time this week, Israel fired at a drone sent from Syria. At around 3 o'clock this afternoon, local Israel time, the IDF launched a Patriot missile to intercept the UAV, which was flying over the demilitarized zone between Israel and Syria. The IDF said the UAV was most likely intercepted. The Army said the drone was in violation of a 1974 ceasefire agreement that had been put into place after the Yom Kippur War, adding that the IDF will continue to take action against attempts to violate the 1974 Separation of Forces Agreement and will not allow violations of Israeli sovereignty. On Wednesday, if you recall, the IDF brought down a drone that had infiltrated several miles into Israeli airspace, also sent from Syria. The women of the Wall Group that advocates for equality at the Western Wall said they came under attack today by ultra-Orthodox protesters at the Holy Site. Some 150 members of Women of the Wall met at the Kotel today in Jerusalem for their monthly prayer gathering. They, as well as witnesses in the area, said that ultra-Orthodox protesters threw objects at them, spit on them, rammed them with bicycles, hit them, and more, and that one of the women's prayer books was set on fire. The group also complained that Israel police did nothing to stop the harassment and assault. Violent riots were reported today at the Gaza security fence. Israeli troops responded with riot control measures. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry said one Palestinian teenager was killed and several were injured. And Israeli firefighters were once again today battling a number of blazes in southern Israel sparked by incendiary kites and balloons sent over the Gaza fence using firefighting planes to get the blazes under control. The Times of Israel reports that the IDF warned terror group Hamas, who controls Gaza, that if such arson device attacks continue, Israel will respond with military action. A bomb threat was called into the National Museum of American Jewish Military History in Washington, D.C. yesterday. A threatening phone call was received at the museum at around 12.30 yesterday afternoon. Police were called to the scene and checked the building. No explosives were found and operations returned to normal after several hours. Jewish writer and activist Melanie K. Kantrowitz has died. K. Kantrowitz was the founding director of Jews for Racial and Economic Justice. She published essays and poems on issues including anti-Semitism and the intersection of Judaism, gender, and race, and was active in the LGBTQ community. She died on Monday from Parkinson's disease at the age of 73. Hungary's soccer club Ferencváros Torna, or FTC, took a moment before their Europa League qualifier match yesterday in Budapest against Israel's Maccabi Tel Aviv, to honor a Holocaust hero. Istvan Toth was a Hungarian soccer player and coach who in 1944 saved hundreds of Jews as a member of the Hungarian anti-fascist resistance. He was captured and executed in 1945. Honored later by Yad Vashem as a righteous among the nations. At yesterday's game, Hungarian children wearing t-shirts with Toth's name and image and the words, our hero, stood alongside the Israeli team in the special tribute, which was organized by the FTC together with the Hungarian government in cooperation with the World Jewish Congress and the Federation of Jewish Communities in Hungary. Israel has a new museum, and it's in the shape and design of Noah's Ark. The Steinhardt Museum of Natural History stands at 100,000 square feet, and is said to be the largest natural history museum in the Middle East, with over 5.5 million specimens of species from around the globe. Curators said the new museum is a battle cry for preservation, as climate change, urban development, and man-made devastation wreak havoc on the region's rich ecosystems. The Steinhardt Museum opened this week next to the campus of Tel Aviv University. 
Well, the 2018 Emmy Awards were announced yesterday with a number of Jewish nominees, among those recognized for excellence in their work in television. They include Sarah Silverman for her unique talk show, I Love You America, Tracy Ellis Ross for Best Lead Actress in a Comedy Series for Blackish, Pamela Adlon for Best Lead Actress in a Comedy Series for Better Things, and Maya Rudolph for her performance in The Good Place. Larry David's show Curb Your Enthusiasm and the Jewish-themed The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel were among the nominees for Best Comedy Series. And taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS, for Friday, July the 13th, live Shabbat services are coming up at 6 o'clock from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed by a concert with Ron Eli Ron. At 8 o'clock, author Rabbi Harold Kushner speaks at the 92nd Street Y. At 9 o'clock, it's the film Obsession, a look at radical Islam. And at 10.30, it's Musica. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 5.30, a look at this week's Torah portion. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, July the 13th, 2018. I'm Tisha Bader. Shabbat Shalom.